Hey guys, welcome here to another video. Today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys the introduction to uh, PHP. Uh, PHP is a dynamic uh, uh, programming language that helps you build dynamic websites with the help of you know things like MySQL and, and, and JavaScript even um, to uh, make make a dynamic website uh, look make a little bit more more uh, advanced and uh, simple websites with just simple HTML. Okay. Uh, now, first, the uh, reason why I'm doing this is uh, I'm actually going to start building a uh, social networking site for uh, the gamers on YouTube, uh, and with the help of that, uh, with the help of PHP at my school, I will actually be able to uh, accomplish that. Uh, I'll go ahead and start Dreamweaver up as I'm still talking. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it to where everyone can kind of connect together. Uh, a little bit more than what we do now on uh, YouTube. I, mean, I made you know a bunch of friends and stuff you know through YouTube and everything, but it's not not really connected, you know, uh, as well as I would like it to be. Um, you know, everyone sees you know pickup videos and you know that's basic. Oh wow, that's cool. And that's basically the end of it. So um, yeah, I'll have a little bit, uh, uh, you know, hopefully a little bit more better connected and everything. Um, but anyways, I was just I was just gonna make this video for fun, uh, show the basics of uh, uh, um, PHP. Uh, this is just this is just stuff I'm I'm playing around with. Uh, well, actually, I'll actually show you how to do uh, um, the uh, variable part today. Um, I'll go ahead and delete that because this is the second time I have to do I've had to do this. Uh, but anyways, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and if you don't know anything about PHP, what you have to do uh, is you have to start with a, a PHP tag. That will that will start the compiler to, and let the, the compiler know that you're now in uh, PHP uh, coding. Uh, so this is what this little opening tag is. Before you start any PHP coding, you have to include that opening tag, and this is the closing tag for it. So whatever's inside there is going to be considered PHP code. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make a simple uh, variable. Um, this, and you can see here, it, uh, Dreamweaver it already has it already has some pre predefined uh, uh, PHP functionality to it. Um, this is just basically used for you know the globals you know used for uh, mainly I think it functions for uh, having a global uh, function uh, sessions and servers and all that stuff has to. Uh, do with um, putting uh, the dealing with MySQL and stuff like that, which is going to be uh, a lot later on uh, down the road. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and start this. And what we need first is a dollar sign, uh, and we'll go ahead and create a variable of. Um, I'll go. I'll do do YouTube if I can spell it right. YouTube. Okay. Now uh, the easiest way, and this is what I when I first learned PHP, this is the example I was given, and it stuck with me ever since. Uh, imagine uh, your dollar sign here is a uh, shoebox, and imagine you write whatever you want on top of that shoebox. In this case, it's going to be YouTube. Uh, we write that on top of the box there, and uh, what we'll do, we'll put an equal sign, and this equal sign is going to represent everything we have in that shoebox. Uh, in this case, we're going to get a piece of paper out, and our piece of paper is going to be double strings, or double quotes, and we're going to put, uh, we're going to write something on that piece of paper, and it's going to be, um, it's great for videos. And we'll end it at that, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll kill it right there. That little semicolon lets, lets, uh, the compiler know that that line of code is now complete, and you can move on to the next part of the code. So, uh, this is basically what we have. So every time we call that shoebox right here that's labeled YouTube, we'll always have this string inside of that shoebox, okay? This little note right there. Okay, so the only thing we have to do, if we wanted to display the, the what, whatever's in that uh, shoebox, the only thing we have to do is call it uh, with the echo tag. And we'll do the echo tag. And we'll go ahead and write YouTube again. And then we'll kill that too. And then that should be good to go. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and save it. I'll do a save as so you can see what to save it as. Uh, you have to save it as the .php uh, file extension. That will let it uh, the compiler know that it is PHP, um, and you can it'll run the code for you. All right, we'll go ahead and save it, and that 
And then we'll go up to what's on my web browser now. I don't want to. Okay, this is just other stuff I was working on. Okay, we'll go ahead and refresh it. And whatever we put in there is now going to show up there. So it says it's great for video, so that worked. And what we can do is we can actually. Let's go ahead and delete this. Or we'll create another one. We'll actually combine two different variables to show something else. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and refresh that. We'll go ahead and create another shoe box with just another string in it. Um, it could be anything. It would be awesome. Let's do that. Uh, it's great for videos. And what we'll do right here, uh, I always do this at the end of it, so we'll go ahead and put it right here. Put a space right here because if you, if you um, well, I'll do, I'll do, I'll show you another way of doing it. All right, so we'll just ignore what I just said. Okay, so we got our shoe box, and what we're going to put in here is, um, and not porn. And we'll put it, close it, and we'll kill it right there. And then what we'll do is echo, um, let's see, you, well, hold on, let me, let me add YouTube right here. You, you. Okay, so we got YouTube dot that that dot awesome, and we'll kill it. And before we get a little bit ahead of ourselves, we'll go ahead and save it and preview it and show you what it looks like, and then I'll explain exactly what I just did. Because if it don't work, then I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> but it should work. So we'll go localhost, because this is where my testing stuff is sitting on. YouTube is great for videos and not porn. Okay. All right. Now, also, if you want to install WAMP, LAMP, or MAMP on your computer for uh, local uh, host testing, uh, you, know, you can look it up. Go to, uh, for Windows, which is WAMP, you would have to go to uh, easyphp.org and follow the directions. Uh, and if you need any help um, freeing up your port 80 uh, for the Apache and... 30, I think it's 3306 for MySQL. Just let me know, send me a message, and I will help you through that. If you're wanting to do this, if you're wanting to follow along, because if you didn't, if you didn't have it on here, what it would do, it would just show all the text for uh, uh, PHP and say that it's you can't find it. So that will, will, that's what it will do. Okay. So what I basically did in this echo right here is went ahead and, and printed out whatever was inside this shoe box and we know now that, sh that YouTube is great for videos is inside that shoe box so it's going to display whatever's in there and then we got this little period right here this is basically a, just to combine two different uh, strings together in one uh, one variable okay uh, so then next what we have in here is a just a text gram I and mean, we could we could have put text in here too whatever we wanted to uh, but we just put a um, a text in here, uh, I mean, a string in here as a space. That's all it was. Just space them out because that's what I was going to do before. What I was just going to do was go like that, which you can still do, uh, but it's not. It's not really a uh, a rule of thumb that programmers go by. It's it, it's better and it works. It's more better flowing if you just went ahead and put this string and just combine all this together. All right, and then uh, another dot because we're combining another string, and the other string is going to be uh, the awesome variable. Or the awesome shoe box okay and that's basically it the, uh, if you got that all that down then you just created your first you know it's not a uh, dynamic uh, PHP program but you have actually created something that's uh, readable so <laughs> congratulations on that uh, and in my next video I'll actually uh, begin talking about uh, doing functions and stuff we'll change the uh, upper cases and lower cases and things like that and also um, that's probably it actually uh, but I'll explain how to do that in the next video and as we get down further down the road we'll start uh, programming the uh, social networking site uh, now anyone can help if they want me to I know uh, there's another um, youtuber that uh, that does social networking stuff that like a custom one for just him and what programmers to do uh, I think it's web intersect I think that's what their website name is um, now we're not going to be doing. We'll be doing similar stuff to his, but not not all of it because I want to make it custom just for YouTube gamers. So we'll have to go a little bit more into detail uh, specifically, you know, for gamers. So uh, if anyone has any ideas, any uh, thoughts or anything, if you if you want to express it, to everyone just send me a comment, 
if you just want to kind of keep it to between you and me uh, just PM me and I won't say anything about it and uh, you know we can just go from there uh, but until next time guys uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment